tell us a little bit about yourself and your latest and only book. Yeah, uh, I'm Seton K. Smith. Um, I'm a, a writer and comedian, and um, yeah, that, that's, that's me. And then the book's about clones and sort of, you know, is it their experience or is it their, you know, is it nature versus nurture? That's the basic premise. Uh, so, the, the, so basically this guy called Henry gets cloned and, um, and then the clones escape and he's hired by the people who cloned him to, to track, him down, track them down and kill them. The, the deceit being that for anyone else it would be murder but because he'd be killing himself it's suicide and so he just sort of goes around and hunts them down, tracks them, sort of, you know, won't give too much away but, you know, just sort of, yeah, just goes on adventure after adventure looking for them. Maybe you can explain a little bit about your background. I have a degree in human movement science uh, that I got in Lismore, uh, but I haven't used that since I got it. I sort of came back from Lismore and tried to get a job in the field, didn't, and wound up working, um, making like videos and sort of, I worked for a company called Paper Moose, um, which I started with some people a while ago and we do like corporate videos and stuff and creative ones as well. I do a lot of, a lot of comedy, so I do a lot of stand-up, sketch comedy, uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, other writing as well. I've got a feature uh, in development with Beyond, and um, yeah, I like to, a bit of everything I like to get my hands in and try, try my hand at things. And uh, what, are, what other influences you had? What, are the, what influences your creative process? This book I actually wrote as a feature. I wrote it as a feature film and I submitted it to a competition called Table Read My Screenplay, which is a Sundance thing. And it was it's got an honorary mention and it was in the top 200. But then I sort of didn't know where to get it, how to get it made, it would be an expensive film. Um, and so I just, and it was just sort of sitting on my computer for a while. So I thought, ah, oh, rather than just leaving the story to sort of collect dust, or like, you know, metadata dust or whatever it is online, then I'd, I'd just I'd turn it into a book. So I, I, I did that in a holiday break. Yeah. How attractive do you find the person sitting across from you? You know, you, you've got a lot going on in the face. Uh, I don't know, that's a tough, tough question. How attractive do you find the person sitting opposite you? Depends on the day. So what's your favorite food then? My favorite food would have to be, um, sorry Garfield, I'm stealing it from you, but lasagna. Lasagna, good one. Me too. Uh, what about your favorite color? Red. No, it's, it's green. <laughs>